This is Duncan Scarborough, reporting live from the Lexington 2 Innovation Center. Today, Chris Cowan, a 29-year veteran law enforcement officer, was inducted as the new KC Chief of Police. Leon Lott, Sheriff of Richland County, performed the swearing-in oath witnessed by family, friends, and colleagues from all over the Midlands. Well, welcome. Welcome to the city of Casey to all of our visitors, and welcome to the swearing-in ceremony for Police Chief Chris Cowan. I'm looking out to the room, and I'm grateful to see so many here to support the city's new chief. Your presence in all the various places you represent show a support for community and each other. Thank you. I would like to especially recognize all the city staff here, and our city council sitting up front. We have Mayor Pardon, Mayor Pro Tem Jenkins, Councilman Carter, Councilman James, and Councilwoman Ann Bailey Robinson. And thank you to the Innovation Center for graciously hosting us. For some of you, this is your first visit. It's a jewel for Lexington District 2, and it's a great jewel for the students of KC and, and the surrounding area. It opened in 2018. It's a state-of-the-art 110,000 square foot facility. It houses a number of college and career readiness programs for high schoolers as well as dual enrollment. Before I say a little about Chief Cowan, let me give you an update on events happening in the city. We've had a combined public safety department for over 40 years. It's housed police, canines, and fire. As the circumstances have become optimal, the city is separating this function into distinct police and fire departments. So Chief Cowan will be the police chief for the first time. So about Chief Cowan, I can spend the next few minutes sharing details of his 29 year law enforcement career and his one inch thick resume. But instead, I will simply say we're thrilled to welcome him to the city of KC, and I'm really happy to be able to work with him again. I've worked with him before at Richland County. What the resume does not say, but what I know about Cowan is that he's passionately committed to the community he serves. As soon as his application was submitted to the city, which was on the very first day of its opening, he began getting to know KC. He visited businesses, he talked to customers and owners, he frequented the Riverwalk, he started a list of churches and organizations, and people he wants to meet and work with. Cowan is passionately committed to building strong and lasting relationship. The number of people in this room, I think, certainly supports that fact. He's passionately committed to his staff and their personal and professional development. After accepting the position and before getting here, he met with administration regularly. He talked about his focus on staff and his desire to ensure that they continue to have the tools, training, and the support that they need to perform their jobs safely and effectively. Our staff is already his family to him. In fact, he sent letters to the staff's family introducing himself and sharing his commitment to their loved ones. He's passionately committed to professionalism, education, and compassionate policing. These are not just words to him. His years of service, awards, accolades, and public respect show that he lives this. We, myself, Mayor Parton, and members of council have received numerous notes of congratulations from far and wide about his selection. This passion, his energizer bunny-like energy, are attributes that we know will lead our fantastic department into the future, and it will serve and protect the city's citizens, business owners, and businesses. Again, welcome and thank you all for being here. At this time, I'm turning it over to Bishop Freeman to deliver the invocation. established let us go to the Lord in prayer father once again we come to celebrate and to thank you for your mercy and for your faithfulness this is the day that you have made we rejoice we're glad in it we come specifically on assignment to invoke your strength in the service of this dear public servant Chief Chris Cowan. We pray, O oh God, that you would surround him with mercy and justice. We pray for his family that takes this call alongside him. Kelly, Hannah, Jake. We pray, O oh God, that you would be strength to them as well. Father, we thank you that your word declares in Proverbs 29 and verse 2 that when the righteous are seated in authority, the people rejoice. We thank you for one who's given testimony of righteousness through our Lord Jesus Christ. And we rejoice today. We pray prayers of protection over all that he does, all within his purview. And we thank you that the weapon that's formed against him will prosper. 
that even when the enemy comes in like a flood, you, O oh God, would raise up a standard. Father, we also give you thanks and praise for leadership that will lead the way for this region to give answer to a world that has become a sad question. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In the name of Christ Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Chris, I want you to look around this room. Stand up. Stand up. Look around this room. These are your friends and colleagues who are very proud of you, just like I am. But as you're standing up, there's a saying, it takes a village to raise a child. I want to expand upon that a little bit. It takes a village to be a successful police chief. This is your village. These are your people here who want to be successful. This is your village who's here to support you, who's here to work with you and he's gonna make sure that you're a successful police chief. I'm proud of you, everybody here is proud of you. Um, I told you the other day that you're like one of my, one of my children. And as a, a father, you're always proud to see one of your children grow up and be successful. And that's how I feel today. Now I wanna see you go, but we're proud of you. And know that you're gonna do a great job. You worked hard, you've earned it, you've prepared yourself, you did everything that you can do to get to this point today. You've earned it. Nobody's given anything to you. You've earned it. So everybody here is very proud of you. And that's why they're here. Because they love you. They're proud of you. And we all know that you're going to be successful. So it's that time to take that with you. Kelly, you know, come on. I swear that I'm duly qualified. I do solemnly swear that I'm duly qualified. According to the state of South Carolina. According to the state of South Carolina. To exercise the duties of the position of chief of police. To exercise the duties as chief of police. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Discharge these duties to which I have been appointed. Discharge these duties to which I have been appointed. I further swear that I will preserve. I further swear that I will preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend the Constitution of the United States. And defend the Constitution of the United States. I further swear that I will uphold the Constitution. I further swear that I will uphold the Constitution. The laws of the state of South Carolina. The laws of the state of South Carolina. And the ordinances of the city of Casey. And the ordinances of the city of Casey. That I will equally. And that I will equally. Fairly. Fairly. And impartially. And impartially. Exercise the trust given to me. Exercise the trust that is given to me. That I will be fully committed to protecting the vulnerable. That I will be fully committed to protecting the vulnerable. Preserving the peace. Preserving the peace. And upholding the law. And upholding the law. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Chris Cowan. I'm very short on words, so I won't take long. Um, no, in all seriousness, this is a very humbling and a huge, huge honor. And I have to say that it's, it's not about me, it's about Casey. And it's about the Casey Police Department and all of the great people that are part of the Casey Police Department. I have to tell you that walking into the police department and feeling the energy and the positivity and the excitement um, is just second to none. No offense, Rick Law. But <laughs> the, the fact is that it's just, I'm so excited and I just, I, I can't bring to words how humbling it is. Everybody that's here, everybody that's here means something to me. And I'm honored and privileged that you would take the time out of your day to come here and be with me and my family as we embark as a family on this next journey. Um, God has placed us all here for a reason, and I believe the reason that I'm here is to serve the great citizens of Casey. So I'm really excited. So thank you all very much.
Chief. Philippians 4.13 teaches us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Isaiah 6, the 8th verse. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And whom will go for us? Then said I, Here am I. Send me. Chief, you and I are brothers in three different ways. We're brothers in Christ. We're brothers in law enforcement. And we're also brothers in the Masonic fraternity. On the night in which you became a Mason, toward the end, you were given a charge. And there's a certain portion in that charge that I want to reiterate to you. In the state, you are to be a quiet and peaceful subject, true to your government and just to your country. You are not to countenance disloyalty or rebellion, but patiently submit to legal authority and conform with cheerfulness to the government of the country in which you live. Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacekeepers, for they shall be called the children of God. Chief, this new portion in your life is not just a job. It's a calling. And you will do it well. I want to give you another charge. Stay humble and hungry. Carry yourself in such a way that when people are sitting, you will be standing, and when they are standing, you will stand out. And when they stand out, you will be outstanding. And when they are outstanding, you will be their standard. Chief, congratulations to you. May the blessings of heaven rest upon you your family, Casey Police Department, and law enforcement throughout the United States of America. Let's take it to the Lord in prayer. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon us and upon all of our work and worship done in His name. May He give us life to guide us, courage to support us, and love to unite us. The Lord bless us and keep us the Lord make His face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. And may the Lord lift up His countenance upon us all and give us peace both now and evermore. Amen. Amen. this swearing in. I understand that uh, Chief Cowan will stay for some questions with the media at a place that we select outside. Again, really appreciate everyone being here. Um, again, it does speak to community and how valued he is in his profession and as a, a member of this community. And I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much.